So equations are important. So you cannot merely depend on just description. So your C, I and G, and you can see, again, I add all the constant first. Okay, then when I look at my income, I now have C1Y, B1Y. So I factorize them. Then I left with B2I. Okay, then write Y equals AE. But remember, there's a Y on the left side. So when you factorize, there is a 1. Okay, it's a very common mistake that students forget is a 1. Okay, then bring the C1, B1 to the left. Okay, then rearranging, this is your IS. Okay, so you can see the slope is now 1 minus C1 minus B1 over B2. Okay, now if you were to compare to the case A's slope, case A the slope was 1 minus C1 over B2. This was the earlier slope that we saw in page 12. So you can see with the presence of your B1, right, the line is actually flatter. Okay, because you can see the numerator, you, you actually minus another value. So the slope for case B is smaller. Right? Okay, so later when we draw, we will see a flatter IS. The vertical A intercept is A bar over B2, which is the same as case A. Right, so the intercept is not affected by B1, okay, but the slope is now smaller. Okay, so in this case, we will draw the diagram, okay? So we'll draw one case first. This is our case A. I ask for case A. Intercept. Okay, this is case B, I think. Let's draw two first. Okay? Both is A bar over B2. This is the I ask for case A. Okay, slope was 1 minus C1 over B2. So now we are doing case B, okay, which should show us, in this case, a flatter IS. Okay, so that's case B. Slope now has a minus B1. Okay, right, so in this case, you could see, you actually get a flatter IS. So what is the meaning of flatter IS? You have to tell the examiner. You cannot say flatter because the slope is smaller. Okay? You have to give the economic intuition, which is here. I usually will discuss a drop in interest rates. Okay? Of course, you can go back and try interest rate goes up. Huh? So remember now, we are talking about firms. So we will pick a point first. Okay? We go to the original curve first. <coughs> On the case A IS curve, I have I naught and Y naught. Okay, so if there is a drop in interest rates, okay, you go from point A to B. So a drop in interest rates. Okay, the analysis is cost of borrowing. So remember, vertical axis is interest rate, huh? it's market interest rate, it refers to all kinds of interest rate. So in this case, we are looking at the goods market, it will be the firm who will read this interest rate as cost of borrowing actually goes down. So, right, they will actually obtain more funds, therefore investment goes up, AE goes up, output goes up. So this is a standard analysis. The drop in interest rates, okay, reacting, the reaction came from the firms as lower borrowing costs, they obtain more funds, they buy capital goods, AE goes up, output goes up. If you have a very bad hazard to say interest rate drop, investment goes up, okay, you can be penalized in the exam. You will not fail, but the examiner will not grade you very well. So you must always learn to describe behavior, right? What is this variable? Who interprets it? What is the impact on this group of people, right? So in this case, you could see, if this is on the standard IS, it would be Y0 to Y1. But now, if you have the flatter IS, okay, 
Okay, if you have a flatter IS, extend the line. Okay, point A prime, point B prime. So use a different color to show. Same drop in interest rates. Right, okay. Then now you have Y not prime, Y1 prime. Okay, so you can see if you actually draw a very flat curve with the same drop in interest rates, you will see the change in income is larger. Okay, the change in income is actually larger. So what attributed to this larger change in income? Interest rate drop, firms right, borrow, drive up spending, income go up. Okay, but when now your B1 is positive, okay, the key explanation is the multiplier is larger. So what does it mean? Okay, that typically, right, in the multiplier process, income increase, C1Y go up. That was the standard process. Okay, but now you also have B1Y go up. So in other words, Okay, look at your consumption and investment. What is called multiplier? A standard multiplier is only income goes up, you trigger many rounds of consumption. That's why you get multiple increase in income. But now, if you have B1Y, it means firms also react to income. Alright, so in this case, you could see increase in AE larger. That's why increase in Y larger. So this is equivalent to a bigger multiplier. Right? So a good exam answer is not one that can derive, not one that can draw, and not one that say my slope say so. A good exam answer analyze, discuss behavior. Right? But in this case, with a drop in interest rate, investment goes up. But it doesn't stop there. It will have one round of increase in income, but multiple rounds of increase in C and I. And this is known as the multiplier. Okay, alright, so make sure you include that in your discussion. Okay, so here I put a footnote. For the discussion, no, is comparing slope of IS, but, alright, a good answer must include the multiplier. So you don't need to give the equation of the multiplier. You just need to highlight where is the additional component. Okay? So in this case, you get a flatter IS curve. Okay? Right? So here, the intercept is the same because the A bar was the same. But imagine if you don't have T bar, then the intercept can be different. Right? So whenever we want to compare slope of IS, we try to hold the same intercept. Then it's easier to discuss changes in interest rate effects on income. Okay, so that was case B. Now we move on to case C. So again, one minute, but be very careful. Check carefully slope and intercept. 